Hello, Superstone here, and welcome to the first public video on my channel. This is my testing world for Hermitcraft-related things. You can see over here, I've got Exumavoid standoff minigame built up. And over here is a whole bunch of ice. That's the topic of today's video. Now, iJevin has recently built a minigame which he calls Tugboat. And it looks something like this. It's mostly normal ice with a little bit of blue ice. It's a game where you have a boat and you tug it with a fishing rod. And you've got a whole bunch of goals you try to get the boat through. Pretty straightforward, just yank and the boat should... Wait, what? Why did it turn? And there's been a whole bunch of confusion on Hermitcraft as to that boat effect, which has happened to basically every hermit who's played the game, and they've all been confused by it, and all the commenters and people who've watched the videos have been confused by it. There's been a couple of people who've proposed solutions as to why this happens. For example, these comments on Joe Hill's episode 35, and these comments on False Symmetries episode 46, and they all seem to have come to the same conclusion that I came to at first, which was that it's the transition here between the normal ice and the blue ice that does it to the boat. Somehow there's like a refraction effect, and it just bounces off the blue ice, which, you know, kind of seems to be what's happening there. Um, and I wanted to test this. Uh, let me throw up a physics diagram quick. Probably not necessary, but I want to do anyway. We've got the velocity of the boat going forward, and then it's the friction vectors of the different kinds of ice, and of course, blue ice has very little friction, and so it's being slowed down more on one side than the other, which creates a bit of a turn, and moves the velocity off towards the ice side. And you could see how, if this were extremified, it could result in turning in big directions, even going completely 180, which has happened, in some other videos. And I wanted to test this with this really interesting Minecraft physics, I thought. Wanted to see how it works. And the first thing I decided to do was get a baseline on how far a boat would go based on how far you were away on the different kinds of ice. So just standing here, yanking, watching it go straight as a whistle and doing that from different distances. And this turned out to be really boring information, and I don't think I even kept it. It might be, paper might still be around here somewhere, but it's not interesting. But you just, wait, wait, hold on. So this is all ice. This is, this is, I'm picking block here. This is all normal ice, and it just bounced. That boat just bounced without any transition, which was our working hypothesis here. Um, we'll do it again. It, it went straight the first, it went straight that time, too. Um, Let me get... Okay. Oh, t there it goes again. Wait, hold on. That time I wasn't flying. So I, I, I might not have been flying the time it happened before. Does it have to do with my flying? But then it has to do with me. It's not touching me. That, that boat is way, way away from me when, when that happens. It's nowhere near me. You can't, you can't interact with a boat without touching its hitbox. Let me turn hitboxes on. Um, five can't interact with a boat without touching. Oh, oh wait. You can! And you see where we're going with this now. At about three pixels away from a stationary boat, you can start bumping it around, and it can start bumping you around. But, this distance is proportional to how fast it's going. You get it going real fast on this blue ice, and I missed that happens a lot. And it can start bouncing like seven blocks away, maybe even eight blocks away, maybe more. I haven't measured it exactly because it's really hard because it all happens so fast. But yeah, we go F5 here so you can see it a little bit better. And it just starts slowing down a long ways away. It doesn't finish until it gets closer, but it starts slowing down a long ways away. Interesting. So this effect would explain a whole lot of what happened in the videos. But it doesn't rule out that there's some torsion going on, some ice change happening. But we throw it there, 
kind of looks like it happened. Now, I was a ways away there. I was a ways back, and it kind of looked like it veered just a little bit off to that side. Let me, let me get up in the air so that I can make sure I'm not interacting with it. Yeah, so I don't want to be up too high because I don't want to yank it into the air because that will mess things up in another way. But if we stand like this, right, even if we stand right next to it, it should be clear that we're not interacting with it. And, oh, that time it didn't turn, just straight. That's normal ice and packed ice. Let's do something with normal ice and blue ice. This is, of course, very small scale, but it looked pretty straight. Hard to tell on such a small scale. It looked pretty straight. Yeah, that's pretty darn straight. Maybe we do all, all three here. No, that looks pretty darn straight. Let, let's take this to a bigger scale. This is really hard to see anything on. Um, let's use all three ice types. Why not? Start it maybe on something besides the normal ice. Start it over there and make sure that we are up high enough that we can't possibly interact with it. It's not moving along at all as I walk over it, so we must be good. Get a ways away, really yank it, try to get it across a couple different patches of different kinds of ice, and that is just perfectly straight. And as far as I can tell, that's always how this works. The only effect acting on this boat is the player effect, where it bounces off of you from way further away than it should, and there is no ice transition effect, as far as I can tell. Ah, as far as I can tell. Ah! Leave me alone, bot! As far as I can tell at all. Just straight, no matter what you do, no matter what the angle is, no matter what the ice types are. Now, this is not uncontroversial. Um, Theros says that they've done some testing as well, and that they actually did find the transition effect. It sounds like that might have been larger scale than what I did. Um, I'm hoping that Theros will share how they've tested this, and we can see if um, that is actually what's going on. That would be really interesting. But yeah, as far as I can tell, the only effect acting on the boat is the player. I've done some experiments to try to remove the player from this completely. Um, over here with slime block pushing. Now, this is a little bit wonky because every time the slime blocks retract, they pull the ice with them, and I haven't been able to figure out any way to stop that. And that's not the only reason this is wonky. Um, if I hit this button, you see the boat? It looked like it kind of warped around that slime block. And I think this is just because it's moving so fast, like it doesn't know what to do when the slime block hits it. I've tried expanding the number of slime blocks to get a cleaner hit on it. Nothing changes it. I've tried using solid blocks, transparent. Oops, sometimes it just doesn't get a good start. Um, solid blocks, transparent blocks. Nothing changes it. It always does this weird warping thing. And I do think it's just the speed, because if we go at a lower speed there, bang, it will bounce. But it's like so slow, it's hard to tell if there's any effect, right? You want like something like 45 if you really want to figure this out. Um, 45 degree angle. But yeah, as far as I can tell, and I've done every experiment I can think of, the only effect acting on this boat is me. I'm so important. Feel free to prove me wrong. This is all for the sake of conocimiento, all for knowledge. If you can prove me wrong, that would be awesome. I live to be proved wrong. And I think that's about it. So have a good day. I've been Superstone, Minecraft Dawn.